What's up gamers, Sixpenny here and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K21 course showcase video diving into a brand new course, Bellarain from Grovey31. This is another course from the TGC Tours World Cup of Design Contest competition and these courses have been phenomenal so far and I'm so excited to dive into this one today for the first time. Gamers, as always, get on out there, play this course in game, leave some love for the designer and let me know how you score in a comment down below. Let's see who can get the best score on the channel. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more. We're going to be playing for the black tees, pin location number one, all the default course conditions, just like I always play on the first time. Firm fairways and greens, that's medium fast green speeds. Let's get on out there to the course, and thank you, Grovey, for your hard work on this course. And to all you other designers out there, you all are all legends. Thanks for all you do each and every week. Let's go ahead and start this with the flyover here already from this first view. Looks like it's going to be a really realistic type of course. It seems like to be a very realistic type of course. So let's take a look at this from the aerial view here. Wow, it, look how cool this looks from up here. This is really cool with all the, I mean, wow, you can really see the tree lines from up here. All right, it's gonna be a very realistic one. I like it. I like what I see so far, but it does look like I'm gonna be missing a lot of fairways here. <laughs> and we'll see if we can find a squirrel along the way to see if there's a gamer ability squirrel Easter egg. You know, not all the designers probably know me, obviously, out there. There's a lot of designers who probably don't know R Ryan Gamer and don't know about the Gamer Ability Squirrel Easter Egg. Uh, so you, you're not going to see a Gamer Ability Squirrel Easter Egg on every single course. So it may get, not get the squirrel stamp of approval. The they can still get that big five-star rating. A 142 uphill 13 feet. Do a little bit of loft and backspin. I've noticed in World Cup of Design, you see two different style, mostly, usually two different style of courses. And same thing for Dream Team. You see really realistic courses. More, well, more realistic courses. More that simplistic, realistic approach. Or you see the high risk, beautiful environments. And it maybe not as the realistic side of what you would see in real life as far as a, on a golf course Oof, but i think they're both awesome i like both okay, styles there's not a right or in. wrong way to do it i think all, all the courses are awesome uh, whether they take that simplistic We're realistic approach or that out just over the top the uh, really Lovely like really beautiful environment around. so you see both and this one is more though. that realistic golf approach and i i like it we get to play in low beautiful winds too swing. Like, this looks like a course I could go out and play in real life. Couldn't, I mean, couldn't go out and play a course this nice <laughs> where I live. But, you know, in gym, you know, some of you have courses like this out there that you can Here's go out and play. Second shot on hole number two. 233, full sand. It's going to come off to the left. Ooh, my type of par five. Very scorable. I need some coffee after this shot. Just feel like I need the coffee boost. Anybody else out there drinking coffee the right now? Do you have any Seattle's best toasted hazelnut fans out there? Ooh, that's a big time golf shot. I should have dedicated that to the designer. Don't worry, Grovey. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate well, a few to you. That's a nice surprise. I usually and dedicate two or three around, usually All two. Right, let's see what we can do. This one for your eagle. Big time eagle. Cut, cut, cut. It could be a good one. Let's go! That was a good Big punch. time eagle. That's my type of par five right there. Let's okay, go. Two under, two under through the first. After that one. And That's a good a You get a good view right here. Especially a multiple hose here. I'm going to full send this one. I'm going to do a overpowered shot. Boom. That's oh, going to be perfect. Fairway for sure. I wonder if this had any like in real life courses in mind. I, I, do designers out there? You designers out there? I'm sure a lot of you get in, get inspiration from courses. Yeah, oh, never! I see that this project took inspiration out. from St. Andrews Beach. Very cool. 
see, 16, 116. I just saw the post on TGC Tours. So, project took inspiration from Tom Doak's St. Andrews Beach and his new course at the National. Very cool. 14 feet to the cup. And I can here. tell that it's a very realistic type course here. Really good look to it, too. Get in there. Get in there. Wow. <laughs> I needed the ghost of the that designer. I needed Grovey's time. ghost out there kicking that ball in. And that'll keep you at. We're not going to complain. And teeing this one up on the floor. I'm going to send this one. We're going to blast this ball. I love this split fairway here. It's a really pretty looking golf hole. It's framed really well. You know, from a true sum perspective, I look at the framing. You know, can you really tell these elevation changes? And I can really tell the slopes. I can tell the elevation changes. I can really see the bunkers that are in play. Really nice framing there by the designer. You know, I'm not a designer. I'm a golfer. And as a golfer, I love really good frame golf holes i think one of the best there's a lot of great framers out there i think some of the best i don't know if i can say the best because there's so many of them but b101 frames golf hose to perfection daniel drummond's 83 frames golf hose to perfection i mean andre of course crazy conduct 1985 list goes on and on i mean i can name about a hundred two hundred more designers out there that do it but they really, from a true sim perspective, when I play their courses in true sim, I really can tell the elevation changes. And this is a good example. Like, I can really tell that we're hitting into an uphill slope here. It's just really good designing. And it's, the, it's that attention to detail that makes these designers so good, right? They play test, they sculpt it, they change it over time. Like, when I was, I was involved with... The design of six pennies layer right so drummond's 83's yep, course nice uh stuff. for the gamer ability six channel and, and so we have the cwl power. gamers part three the zoo part three course incredible course and then we have the new six pennies layers you can get out there and play those but the way that watch that course change over time the way that daniel changed the framing and sh and sculpting over time it's just so cool to see send this in but all in all, I guess a long way to say, Grovey, very one. nice framing. <laughs> I went into a long, yeah, good speech power. there, but you know these designers are good at framing, and Grovey and did a really good job. Says, sticking right there at two under after that. I'm gonna hole. full send this one. Oh, we can hit. Th I love this slope here. We can hit it right down this slope and really get some good distance. I need to slow down a little bit. Maybe, maybe I've got too much coffee in my system right now. Maybe a little bit too much coffee, but can you have too much coffee? Okay, you probably can, right? Let's be, let's be honest. To the pin. <laughs> 133, take a little off. Full back spin. Get over. Get over. Get up. It didn't give a, get over or up. I guess it kind of did oh, get up. Hit this one, but Very chip okay. in from here. This one's your third. You might have heard Kelsey, the puppy. <laughs> might have heard my puppy just kind of, nice she's sleeping, well snoring, and then she just kind of did a long well grunt. Uh, <laughs> her sleep grunting is so funny. She rolls over like a big stretch grunt and then the falls day, right back to sleep. <laughs> Stepping up to a par three. I love, I love dogs. I love cats. I, I just love animals. Love squirrels too, obviously, as you all know. Slowed it. That's unfortunate. A little too much to the right. I went back into you know, I was talking about the six pennies layer course and I went back and I was talking about the CWL stadium well, part three I went back to that today. course right. uh, and played it on stream the other day I played a couple rounds trying to get an ace and unfortunately was not able to get an ace but I have got multiple aces there I just love that part three course CWL did a great job on that Asked it but it's still gonna be good I believe this is for your par we had that one big okay, eagle, and then we've just uh, slowed so down after on that. Hole. Come on, Ryan. So we blame. Let's see. Did we blame the caddy though? Two under after that hole. Do we blame the caddy, or do we blame four. Ryan Gamer? Is it six pennies fault? I'm technically the caddy, right? And Ryan Gamer is technically the virtual athlete. 
Did we blame me or did we blame Ryan? I say always blame Ryan, right? You all will have to vote on that in a comment. Do we blame oh, Ryan or blame it. Sixpenny? Ended up in the sand after all that. I know it gets Sorry. confusing out there. Ooh, great shot from the bunker. It's got to get over, though. I think I'd rather be off the green here. It's going to be easier than making that putt. I like what you did there. John likes what I did bunker. there. Thanks, John. On that too. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, it, be careful what you wish for, Ruined Ryan. It did cut. Right, I can't say it didn't give us the cut because it did. Okay. So Jeff, this is either a tough course or we're just really struggling Team right now. Long par five here. I want to say we're just struggling, right? I've been hitting a lot of gray fast, a lot of red fast. Just got to get those under control. That's a big time shot, though. Needed that one big time. Let's go. 336. Okay, Ryan's been hitting that weight room. Yards left to go. I'm going to take a little bit off this three wood, a little bit of backspin. Going to come off way to the left. Get a good bounce. Come on. It should kick up there. Yes, we're going to be sitting on top that hill with the good chip in this chance for Eagle. Looking like. Oh, it's chip inable. Come on, get in there. This is for you, Grovey. I knew nice better than to dedicate that one after nice it already was flying well in the air. That's my fault. That doesn't well, technically count as a shot dedication because I can't count them unless I say it before, right? Chad has told me that multiple Let's times. It doesn't count do as a shot dedication unless you dedicate it before. So, Grovey, this hole in one's for you. Thank you for your hard work. Great course. This ace is for you. Come on. Imagine. Bounce left. Not an ace, but a pretty solid shot dedication, I might add. Yep, that's out of the top shelf. Tough Good putt work. here. Holds pretty, quite a bit left out. to right movement. This one's on a good Let's line. go, big time that birdie. Drop, and that's just second birdie in a row. Ryan's on fire now. Here. Who called in that birdie train? Gamers, you all are legends calling in that birdie train. All right, time to attack this back nine team. Well, we're going to attack team. this. Again, we talk about framing and sculpting. True some perspective. I can really tell the way this fairway is right to left. I can tell that this is an upslope and that it funnels down to the left with route, without even zooming in. Just based on that framing. Very nicely done. Well, that was a fine swing. Fine swing. Fine swing, John says. Uh, it's gonna oh perfect <laughs> oh my goodness i need to do a showcase here soon Second in just true so we can really pay attention at the fr on the really pay attention to the framing right because my showcase i like to zoom in and fly around but i think it'd be cool to do one Nothing showcase in true so i may do a six the, pennies layer showcase in true so you can see how well it plays in true so Three birdies in a row. Are you Bring kidding me? Five under for Ryan's you. fired up right now. Do a little bit of backspin. Oh, no. Oh, effortlessly done. Nice swing. Okay, I'm lucky. I, I honestly thought that was super fast. Thank you, game, for not being super fast. That felt... It felt like I just flicked the controller there, forward as hard good. as I could. Okay, here comes a nine foot putt. Big time bird. Let's Good go. Today. That's your fourth birdie so Four far. birdies in a row. Let's keep it up. Why not? Seven holes, seven Six more holes. Let's get an eagle Perfect. here on the par five and then a couple more birdies. We'll be on our way. You can tell just by the sound that that was hit with extreme force. John, that's another nickname for Ryan Gamer. Extreme. Well, that's not, a, that's not, I don't think they call it. I don't think anybody has ever used Ryan Gamer's golf extreme force golfer <laughs> i take that back john high level virtual athlete yes slow paced virtual athlete in the past they used to use that wind whisper some nickname i've heard i guess i've never heard anybody describe ryan gamer's golf game as extreme force 
Anybody else out there got any good nicknames for Ryan Gamer? What do you all call them out there when you talk to your friends? Because I assume that you all all talk about Ryan Gamer to your family, friends, everybody. You all call Ryan. I like to call him a finely tuned athletic machine. Oh, come on. Big girl. Big girl. Let's go. Big girl's fired up now. Big time eagle. I bet Grovey's fired up too if you come across his showcase. But wow, big girl, every time I hit a 30-foot putt or longer, that's a Twitch Prime sub. That's a Twitch Prime sub from Big Earl. 50-footer. Add it to the list there, Brian. <laughs> Add it to the list. Little 50-foot eagle. <laughs> Such a tough putt, too. Sitting at eight. Okay, we've round. peaked. What a golf okay, course, though. Four ahead of us here. Very realistic golf course. I love these. I, these are just so fun to play. I just feel like I'm out there safe. in real life playing a course. I wish this game had VR. This game on VR would just be awesome. And this is about I would have to get a VR first before I played it on VR, but... I probably would if the next if they announced the next game is coming to VR. I would probably be getting a VR, either the new PlayStation VR or some or the Quest or some type of VR system. Oh come on, keep rolling, keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Ooh. Well done. That's another green in regulation. Okay, could be a birdie on the scorecard if you drop this. No, it's getting We're on there. fire right now. What is Good happening? Grovey. Let's have a, let's have this one. course is designed for Ryan Gamer to play. Birdie, birdie, yeah, birdie, birdie, right eagle, birdie. Let's go. All right. Short par four here. You might be able to get real aggressive with the approach. John says we can get nice real aggressive. Here. And John's never wrong, right? John's never been wrong a day in his commentating career. <laughs> I'm going to do ups. So top spin, a little bit of e-loft and overpower. Felt slow and it was fast. See, that's what I'm talking about. The difference in PlayStation. Oh, what a golf shot. Let's go. So like on PlayStation, the input I put in when I play on PlayStation 5. So I just recently got a PS5. When I hit my tempo on that thumbstick and that controller when it's when i feel a, i can feel a fast i can feel a perfect i can feel a slow there's no it doesn't feel off to me but on the other consoles i it, it just doesn't feel as accurate but wow am i loving that ps5 controller i don't know if there's a controller out there that's better than that ps5 controller the haptic fee i'm not, I'm not talking just for pga i'm talking for any game and you're talking to somebody who's been playing an xbox player his entire okay. gaming uh, career. 75 yards to go. So here. like I'm not biased towards I'm biased towards Xbox actually. <laughs> I am 100% biased towards Xbox, not biased towards PlayStation at all. And wow, am I in love with that controller. One of the best designed controllers out there, and I don't even think it's close. Ooh, big time golf shot. 179 a little a eagle approach. i mean birdie opportunity this here putt is measuring in at 11 feet who awoke in ryan gamer this round <laughs> but this is why seven. i'm going to stay on pc because i can still play on pc now that i'm learning yeah, that the tempo on this new controller for you. wow we are Good playing some insane golf right now are we back is ryan gamer swing back did Grovey just awaken Ryan Gamer's swing? Come on, get in! Oh! oh, oh. What? Wow, what a tee shot. Man, that could have easily gone in. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, we peaked. What a tee. Imagine if that drops. If that drops, it's probably the best shot of... That is the best shot of Ryan's career. We are on an absolute tear right now. Here we go. Par four ahead of you. Wow. Oh, this one's in the fairway. This course, oh, this course really brought Ryan Gamer to life. He's been flat lately. He must have slept okay, good last night. 135 to the pin. 33, I'm going to do a little bit of D-loft and then quite a bit of backspin. We're on right now. When you're on, you're on, right? When you're hitting tempo 
Wow, does it just feel nice. Just throwing darts out there. <laughs> I think we're oh, ready yeah, to we'll jump back into plat next there. week for the major. Lining up for Who's ready for plat next week for the Pot major? Here. I think I'm ready. Well, I think I'm ready for line. the major. What do you all think? Nice. Let me know what you all think. Are we ready? I think the swing's getting there here on PC Good with the new controller. It's an Xbox power. controller. So I, I, the PS5 the controller I don't use on PC because I just can't hit the tempo. Or not tempo. I can't hit the swing plane. But I use it, of course, on PS5. And wow, do I love it on PS5. But I actually, I actually swing right stick well in that PlayStation controller because okay, of the stick alignment is so awkward for me. Here. I'm going to do a little bit of D-loft and then quite a bit of backspin. We're going to get fancy out there on this one. Come on, kick left. Grovy, this is for you. Too late for the shot dedication, but I count it. I count it. Oh, imagine... I think that this might be the best display of well golf done. you all have ever That's seen nice. from Ryan Gamer and that there. I've ever seen from Ryan Gamer. Like, so wow. Well. And what a golf course, Grovey. Framing, sculpting was just very well done. Birdie, 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 eagle, birdie, 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 birdie. <laughs> well, well, well. You And you all want me to change Ryan Gamer's clothes? How can we change Ryan Gamer's clothes after a performance? I don't think he's ever going to change clothes again. He's, he might not ever shower after that round. That is, de I'm definitely favoriting, definitely five-star. Very phenomenal course. It's a, it's a re very realistic course. Felt like I was out there playing a real course. Sh just shot 14 under par after a slow start. Let me know if you all can beat that score. Thank you for your hard work, Grovey. And to all you other designers out there, thank you for all you do each and every day for the PGA community. You all are all legends. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more new showcases every single week and PGA videos stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays live on Twitch. Link in the bottom of the description. And new gaming videos all the time for all types of games but especially sports games i'll see you next time as always gamers have a fantastic day